Hey y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I'm outside today to give y'all a little bit of a different background. And because the rain has finally cleared, so it's really nice out. And I wanted to go for a hike in the fresh, clean air. So for today's video, I wanted to update y'all on how the no dinner situation is going. It's been about a month, and I'm guessing the number one question is, did we stick to it? So we didn't really make this a challenge or anything like overtly that we had to feel like we had to complete because this was just an experiment. So in this month, did we eat dinner at all? The answer to that is yes. I ate dinner twice this month and my partner ate dinner probably five times. One of the times was because my friend came over for my birthday and the other time was because it was my birthday. Mostly what I had all day was like cake and sweets. So I was hungry for real food and I needed some nutrients in my life at the end of that day. But overall not having planned to have dinner every night, I was able to take each situation one by one. Am I actually hungry? Am I not? Do I want a snack? Do I not? I snacked probably half of the nights. The other half, I didn't have anything but tea. Sometimes I had more snacks than other times. And I really tried to listen to my body and only eat if I was actually hungry. So I think we're going to continue this, not really reverse intermittent fasting because we don't have a cutoff time necessarily, though I try and stop eating around eight and we usually eat breakfast at 6 a.m. So there is a window that we don't eat. Obviously we're sleeping most of it. But I definitely wouldn't say that we're doing intermittent fasting. We're just trying to eat intuitively. So intuitive eating teaches you to listen to your body. So I've been trying to expand that to not only what I'm eating, but my energy levels, because I am working all the time, I tend to fall asleep at my desk. So <laughs> that happened before the no dinner thing that's just a problem I've had for a long time so not only am I trying to get seven to eight hours of sleep every night which I usually do I'm also taking a nap when I get home from work before jumping into doing stuff for this channel because in the long run I get more work done in the shorter amount of time because I'm focused whoa is that a snake I think I see a garden snake moving. Hold on, I'll be right back. I don't know what kind of snake it is, so I don't want to bother it. Sorry, I get distracted by all the little creatures. I've been watching all the butterflies and all the dragonflies fly around me on my hike, and I love it. From the time I'm recording this video, not from the time I post, but from the time I'm recording, is 80 days until I go home to my favorite festival, Electric Forest. So, my partner and I have been putting together an 80 day fitness challenge to get me festival body ready for Electric Forest and for Bonnaroo. I'll be going to both of those this summer. It's not even just that I want to lose weight for these festivals, but it takes a lot of endurance. It is exhausting to go to a four day festival. It's about getting my body prepared. So hopefully soon I'll be able to show y'all the workout routine that we've developed, at least for this 80 days, to get me ready for festival season. I love electronic music and I love electronic music festivals. Let me know in the comments what your favorite kind of music is and if you like to go to festivals or to live shows or anything like that down in the comments. And let me know if you're gonna be at Forest or Bonnaroo so we can maybe meet up.
like button if you want to see more videos of me hula hooping in them. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Watch my Insta stories to see what I'm doing. All the links are down in the description. I hope you all have a great day. I hope I got enough footage. I hope I didn't suck too much. And I hope it all looks good stitched together, cutting out most of my fails. And this is my first time hooping in a while because I've been working so much, but it's gonna be part of working out and getting ready for festival. Because it's such a good workout and it's so fun, but it is very hot outside even though I'm in the shade and I'm very hungry now. So I'm gonna walk back and uh, eat some lunch. Stay tuned at the end of this video for a blooper reel of me dropping my hula hoop. <laughs> Cause we all do it, right? Thank y'all for watching. Bye y'all.